Good morning, besties. Cheers. Drink some water if you haven't drinking water today. I'm gonna drink this glass of water on Saturday morning. I've been having a very chill weekend. I had Wednesday and Thursday off, and then I don't have class on Friday, so I only had two days of class this past week, which was really nice to catch up because I have been really, really behind. So I am not doing anything fun this weekend, but I'm like okay with that. I needed just a weekend. I feel like I've been doing a lot. I needed a weekend to chill. So I haven't hung out with anyone this weekend. Don't plan on it. It's Saturday morning. It is 9 a.m. Yesterday, I like finally caught up. I am no longer behind in any class. And today, I'm just gonna do more reading. I'm gonna finish first amount of reading today and like actually just be caught up because that's gonna feel good because I felt so gross. That's the plan for this weekend. Sorry if you can hear Luna having breakfast in the background. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the farmer's market right now. They have a farmer's market in Prospect Park. So I'm gonna walk there for my exercise today. So I really don't wanna go to the gym and get some veggies from the farm mar farmer's market. I imagine they probably take card now, but I'm gonna bring some cash too, just in case. So I'm gonna drink this, get dressed, and head to the farmer's market. I did lie, I got my new juicer. I'm like how pretty she is. I'm actually gonna make some cucumber ju juice first. I can't talk. I just did two cucumbers. Lemon. You guys have given me some really yummy suggestions on TikTok. I want to do cucumber, apple, pineapple, but I don't have non-frozen pineapple. I don't want to wait for it to thaw. I know I probably just run it under hot water, but today I'm just gonna do cucumber lemon. Now we're gonna go. I've also been writing a to-do list in the morning, which has really helped me. So I'm gonna do that after. I juice this and I'm gonna TikTok this too. I'm TikTok vlogging too, which is hard to do both, but I'm gonna make it happen, so. I'm setting up for TikTok, guys, which I always want it to look really aesthetic. Aesthetic, aesthetic, however you say that, so. I'm gonna have to move the juicer back a little bit and angle it. And maybe I'll put my lemon on, ready to go for good measure. How does that look? That looks better. Maybe we can back it up further. Hmm. I feel like I usually, yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna have to move, move you guys. See, like that shot looks really good, so I'm gonna have to move you guys over a little bit because I feel like it's more real on here on YouTube, so it doesn't need to look as aesthetic, but I feel like on TikTok I want it to look perfect because I'm crazy about it, so I'm gonna move you guys. Very wrong, guys. Oh, I didn't push the, the catcher in. Oh my god, guys. The mess I just made. Okay, I swear it usually goes smoother than this, but I didn't put the catcher in properly because I was like stressing out about filming for everything, so a big mess to clean up, but that's okay. I'm re watching my TikTok to see how it turned out. It felt like. Okay, I'm struggled. Yeah, that's good enough.
for today. And then I got these cute little juice containers. I'll link them on Amazon. And I'm just going to pour the rest of the juice in here. I'll have a little for tomorrow. I don't even think it's going to be that much. But it'll be something. So that's the plan. I got to get it on TikTok too. Sorry. Follow me on TikTok though if you don't. I'm sweating besties. It's really hard to TikTok and YouTube at the same time. I should just on YouTube days just do YouTube. But then I get this anxiety and I'm like, I'm not posting on TikTok. Anyway, here's my juice. Cheers. Let's do a taste test first. Good. It's pretty good. Um, I could use a little more lemon, but yeah, maybe I will squeeze a little more. And then the leftover, I don't have that much, but I got these cute little juice jars off Amazon. I'll link them. And I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. And I'll have some juice tomorrow. And I'm gonna squeeze a little more lemon. Okay. All right, cheers. I'm gonna drink this. And then what I've been doing recently that's really been helping me is writing a to-do list. It holds me accountable. I don't always get everything done on it. I actually haven't once got everything done on, me, done on it, but it feels really good. If you're in a rut, make a to-do list. I swear by it. And then just check things off as you go, obviously. And it just feels so good to check things off the other day, even if it's just like, brush your teeth, make your bed. Um, my best friend, Celia, actually gave me that advice like a long time ago. I don't even know if you remember giving me that advice if you're watching this, but really helps. Very slow start to the day. And I'm finally leaving. It's like 1040. I was on the phone and just really chilling. It's fine. Slow mornings are fine. So I just got dressed. I'm just wearing, it's like warm out today. This is a really thin, like little oversized white shirt. Some bike shorts and my little new white Nike sneakers. And I'm going to bring my new Prada backpack to fit you guys in. And just some extra bags too for... Whatever I get. Let's go. I just got back from the farmer's market. I actually went to one closer to me because it had everything I wanted and I was kind of lazy. So I got cilantro, red onion, excuse Luna making <laughs> noise in the background. Red onion, some jalapeno, some tomato. I'm gonna make a salsa tonight. Lettuce, ton of basil. So I'm gonna make a pesto. I need to go buy a food processor today because I still don't have one. Zucchini, cute little cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, peaches, shallots, and that is everything. So I'm going to wash all of this and put it away. I have a lot to store. Tomatoes here. These are all going to go in a salsa tonight. Um, 
those. I need to make a lot, a lot of salads in the next few days. The basil situation, I am quite worried about. I'm gonna buy a food processor and make pesto ASAP because it was the smallest bunch they had. But if we just pan down, look who has jumped up and is already very curious. I don't know if she can get up there or not, but I'm gonna go to Target later today and buy a food processor because I need one. And I need to go, I need to make pesto ASAP. I can even like freeze it. I just need to use up that basil. Because this one's gonna try to get it, huh? Yeah, you're gonna try to get it. On another note, look at Loon. She made herself nice and comfy in this box that her cat food came in. Are you comfy, Luna? And then in the fridge, I think it looks pretty good. It's a little chaotic, but like I said, the cilantro, I'm not gonna be able to use all of that <laughs> in the salsa, but I'm gonna use a lot. Um, I need to get more like just glass containers for the fridge to store. Like I have my lemons and limes and avocados in there right now because I couldn't fit them. This is jalapenos, carrots and zucchini, uh, cucumbers, we have strawberries in there, carrot chips, lettuce, more lettuce and more lettuce and peppers, and then we have like clementines and pasta. So I am not allowed to go out to eat for the next week because I have food at home. Okay, I spared you the video because you've seen me make this sandwich so many times, but I made my egg sandwich that I love. Egg, pepper jack, avocado, a little bit of olive oil, crushed red pepper, franks. I'm gonna eat this now. I should probably change. Okay guys, just posted my TikTok. Now follow me on TikTok, I'll put it on the screen. Made a coffee taste test. Oh, could use some more cream. I love to add that. Um, one second. This is the cream I have been loving lately. It's the Starbucks Caramel Macchiato Creamer. Um, it is so good. It's so sweet and yummy, and it's almond. Oh, this is why I don't like it as much. Oh my god. I didn't even realize. So they make an almond oat milk one that I love. And I thought it didn't taste as good as I remember. It's because this one's not almond oat milk. This is just regular milk. Gross. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to drink this and go read. First Amendment, I think I'll do today. Just do Tuesday and Thursday First Amendment reading. And be able to actually just have a nice Sunday. Maybe I'll see if like anyone wants to go to brunch with me tomorrow or something. Although actually like, me and one of my friends always study together. At an undisclosed location on Sundays, I won't say. Just not I trust you guys, but you know, weirdos on the internet. So I'm gonna go read, drink this. I am so disappointed that I got the wrong cream. It's just not the same. It's got that gross milk taste. That's why I don't like it. Ugh. Hi besties, I have changed locations. I don't know what it is about me studying at my counter, but I literally never get anything done when I sit at my counter. I get so distracted. So move to my corner table, which I honestly thought of getting rid of and replacing with a chair. It's good I didn't because I use it so much, but time to read. I literally just didn't do anything for an hour. I'm getting stressed because I'm like, I'm just wasting the day. I also just have trouble focusing when it's nice out. Um, but anyway, I've been doing the Pomodoro method, which really helps where I study, I set a timer on Google for 25 minutes, and then I will set a timer when that goes off for five minutes and take a five minute timed break and then go back 25 minutes, five minute time break until I get where I need to be or feel like I'm going to go crazy. I'm do that. My coffee just was gross. I made it too sweet after not liking it. I'm having a caffeine free diet root beer for my study treat and a glass of water and we are going to read about speech and new media it'll be fun honestly first amendment reading actually is kind of interesting i will give it that like out of other readings it's more enjoyable hi guys slight change of plans um sorry if you can hear my dryer in the background but i'm just having one of those days I don't know if this will make sense to any of you guys, but 
hopefully it will resonate with someone. So having one of those days where nothing is going my way, it's not even like anything is going bad, it's just I feel very stressed because like my day started so late and I went to bed last night and I was like I'm gonna have a successful day, I'm gonna go to bed at 8, I'm gonna go to the gym first thing, then I'm gonna go to the farmer's market, then I'm gonna have breakfast, I'm gonna have all my reading done by 1 and then I'll go tan on the roof. Um, and instead like I just kind of have sat around all day and it's one of those days where like it's not even like the sitting around was beneficial because I felt so overwhelmed the whole time and so I tried to do reading and I had some boxes in the corner that needed to be broken up and like just needed to clean there were crumbs on the floor I couldn't focus so I got up I just did like a little mini deep clean of the apartment broke up all the boxes and now I'm gonna go to Target and buy a food processor so I can have something to look forward to for dinner tonight so I'm gonna make salsa um with like a taco and I didn't do my skincare today because I was planning on going to the gym so I waited to do my skincare and now it's like two o'clock and I haven't done it so I'm gonna go to Target right now take a little breather and then I will reevaluate when I'm home I only have like 20 more pages to read where I'm caught up all the way until Tuesday kind of I still have to do pre-bar but I don't need to feel as stressed as I am so I just need to take a step back relax so i'm gonna finish my skincare we'll go to target maybe we'll go to barnes and noble that would actually make me really happy yeah do you guys want to go to barnes and noble i think that would be good okay we'll go to barnes and noble too um and then come home and get to work or relax i mean i i did a lot this weekend okay this is starting to burn because it's a glycolic cleanser so i'm gonna wash my face and i'll see you guys probably at target I just got home. That was single-handedly the worst trip to Barnes and Noble ever. I just have really bad anxiety today, and I like was having like not like a full panic attack. It wasn't like a panic attack. It was just I felt I was so irritable that I was going to explode, and I still feel that way. There was really loud, obnoxious music playing, and it was super crowded, and just the vibe was off. The books weren't organized. So I got four books. I would have stayed longer. I got Santa Monica, The Wife Who Knew Too Much. You guys know that sounds like a book right up my alley. You Are Not Alone. And Daisy Jones and the Six. So I feel like I've read this book, but I don't think I have. And then from Target... I got lemon juice for my sparkling water and I'm too lazy to squeeze a lemon. Some diced tomatoes for salsa tonight. Pineapple, because one of you guys on TikTok suggested I do pineapple cucumber apple, which sounds fire. And I also think I might juice this to make a pineapple margarita tonight. I don't know how to cut a pineapple, so please, this is the one pre-packaged thing I buy. It's just, I can't cut a pineapple. I'll learn one day, okay? Some butter and this is the food processor I got. KitchenAid was on sale, $5 off. It was like $45. So hopefully it works well. They didn't have the Starbucks caramel, sorry, my dishwasher. They didn't have the Starbucks caramel almond oat, but they had the silk caramel almond, which I actually feel like has a better taste than the oat silk one, which I can't believe I'm saying that, but I feel that, so. I'm gonna put this away. Also, just got this paper towel holder for over the cabinet because I don't keep paper towels on the counter because I don't want it to look cluttered. And Cleo and Luna would tear them to shreds. So this is so nice. It just, it fits perfectly under the sink. I'll link it. Last but not least, one of my plants came. Um, I'm gonna move it. I need to move the basil. I need to use the basil so I can move the basil because I don't want it in front of the AC vent. I'm gonna have two plants on like where the basil is and then put like a candle or something, something besides a plant from the vent, so. Hi besties. I'm in the bath. I just took a shower and scrubbed off. Um, I just like really have bad anxiety today. I don't know what it is, but I just like, it sucks because I was planning on having such a successful day today. I like. And it's not like I even, I guess, enjoyed the day. I was so anxious and like so overwhelmed trying to get so many things done. 
that I didn't get anything done and in retrospect like I wish I would have known that I was going to have a day like this and I would have just accepted it and chilled but instead I tried to push through it and here I am it's five o'clock I really haven't gotten anything done I mean I ran some errands I'm not going to be totally hard on myself but I didn't get what I wanted to get done and I just am feeling like really gross my head feels all like headachy and like I don't know how to explain it, but like my stomach through my brain feels empty when I have anxiety and not in a way that I mean like sad, empty, like literally physically empty, like nothing is in my stomach right now. It's a weird feeling, but I'm taking a bath, I'm um, going to chill here. I was going to, I think what set it off was I, like when I started feeling really bad, I mean I felt bad all day, but then I tried to start a second TikTok of like night in my life and Barnes and Noble. I just felt so overwhelmed and so I got some good footage but I'm not going to continue that TikTok because I'm just taking the night off. No more. We're going to make salsa. I picked up this drink on the way home. It is strawberry lemonade CBD um, by the brand Unity who actually they sent me a big package of this once and I fell obsessed with it because it really does calm me down. That tastes really good. And then we had like a phone call set up to talk about a future partnership, but then I never heard from them. So, unfortunately, this is not sponsored, but I really, really like their drinks. I like $5 a drink because it's CBD, but it's worth it. So I'm going to sit in the bath, chill, and I'll see you guys in a little. Okay, besties, I just got out of the shower. I have on Skims pajamas and this boys lie shirt it's like the comfiest thing in the world like i haven't worn it in a while but it's so comfy lit some candles it's all cozy i have the comfy lighting on and we're gonna make some salsa right now i'm just gonna make like my regular taco but a fresh salsa will make it so good so we're gonna make some salsa watch a comfy movie maybe like a lifetime movie vibe tonight go to bed early so Let's get to cooking. I can't decide if I'm going to make a margarita or just have some wine. Honestly, I don't really like the wine I bought that much recently, but it was still like pricey and I don't want to waste it. So, not that I don't like it, it's just like it's not like I love it. Anyway, let's make some salsa and the rest of dinner. I don't even know if I have tortilla chips, which I always have tortilla chips, but I think I'm running on low. I have all the fresh ingredients ready to go, washed, cleaned, etc. I'm going to put a little lime in, three cloves of garlic, four tomatoes. Call me crazy, I'm going to do a whole onion. I love onion. One jalapeno, but honestly, I want it spicy, so I'm going to do two jalapenos, actually. I'm going to grab my other one cilantro and then i'm also just going to use a can of diced tomatoes as well season it and yeah it should be pretty easy stopped filming I'm ashamed of the aftermath let's just say the food processor did not go well we need to figure out how to use it and I threw out the instructions because I hate reading instructions so I used a blender oh my god my mouth is on fire um salsa is really good really spicy um I also made literally so much um I need to clean up this is stressing me out <laughs> The 
good thing is I eat a lot of salsa, but I am just going to store it. Cleo, I'm gonna store it in these juice jars. Um, that's probably all I'll need for tonight. Maybe I'll need more. Um, that way I have it ready to go. I don't know how long salsa is good for that you make yourself. Probably like seven days, right? So when you're having a lot of salsa in the next seven days, then note to self, next time I'm not going to make one million pounds of salsa. Okay, guys, here's dinner. I didn't even try to make it aesthetic. Tacos, homemade salsa is really good. I'm using these spinach tortillas. I actually just really like them. They're also good for you. And then having some wine. I was going to make this like this cute aesthetic salsa cooking night, but that's just not how life is going today. I'm going to go watch a movie and relax and maybe cry or something. I don't know. I've been watching a movie on Hulu called The Stalker, I think. It's like okay, predictable, but interesting. Now I'm going to put away this laundry hate putting away laundry but I will leave it in the dryer and you guys know I wash my sheets on Sunday and I do a lot of cleaning on Sunday so I want to not do this as well. I also don't have my comforter on the bed right now. It just got picked up or it's getting picked up in like five minutes left at the desk um, by Wash Club because I'm out of breath from getting my laundry. Um, my washing machine does not fit the comforter, so every like two and a half, three weeks, I guess every three weeks, because I don't ever sit on my comforter unless I'm like showered. Um, so I wash it like every three weeks, but anyway, Luna, are you ready to put away the laundry, huh? Is it going to be fun? Alright guys, I am going to bed. The lighting is a little bit crazy because I have my red lights on. I'm going to read my book. I am reading Such a Quiet Place. It's really good. I'm still reading it. I told you I was going to finish it last time and I didn't. I like am slightly tearing up right now just because I feel frustrated, I think. I don't even really know why I am, but I guess I haven't cried for a while, so it's good, but I'm just feeling kind of stressed and sad, so I don't even know why. I'm just feeling kind of sad and annoyed with myself tonight. So, on that note, I am going to go to bed, but I love you guys, and I will see you.